It's a good day, Orlando. It is 8:14 right now. You know, heartburn is one of the most common medical problems suffered by Americans. 50 million people in this country suffer from it at least once a week. Now, luckily, we have Dr. Oz here with a recipe to ease the pain, along with Dr. James Rosser with Florida Hospital Celebration, joining us to talk about a diet plan that can actually help you to fight heartburn. Great to have you, Doc. Hey, it's good, good to, to get, see you. Be back, and especially with my brother from another mother. I'm <laughs> <laughs> You guys have hung out together oh, before. Oh, yeah. Even though we're a Harvard Yale thing, you know, uh, hey, it's amazing how well we get along and we've been on the show quite a bit. <laughs> it's we, fun to see you guys Overcome here. our background. Exactly. But he always outdresses me, which really know, it, frustrates me to no end. Well, you know, this my wife, fancy. everybody asks me, my wife dresses me, but no, 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 no. I handle, I handle that kind of business. There is stuff. no way. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling her myself. Exactly. When you talk to this, we talk this morning. Let's talk about what is heartburn first, because it doesn't, it's actually not anything having to do with our heart, is it? Oh, no, it, it isn't. And the big thing is, is that uh, everybody thinks heartburn is related to acid. And acid is the problem, but it's not the main problem. We have a little valve between our food tube and our stomach. And um, Melvin knows about this. He was a cardiac surgeon, a thoracic surgeon. And it's a valve between the food tube and the stomach that's the problem. Okay. And it allows the acid to go in the wrong place. And that's why we have the symptoms. Okay, so let's talk about it. We're going to talk about food here because mm -hmm. I think this is really interesting that you can fight heartburn with a diet. Let's talk about the bad foods first. What are some of the foods that we're eating that we are creating our own problem? Well, when it comes down to winning your personal heart uh, war against heartburn, it can be all about that base, about that base. <laughs> no <laughs> trouble. And what the base, oh, yeah. 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 Okay. come on, let's uh -huh. get the I base got it. now. Okay. And base being alkaline foods. And it's about restoring balance to your diet where you don't have it heavy in acid. You you have it more heavy in alkaline or base type foods. Okay. Now, you got to know your triggers. Okay. What are the triggers? And Melvin talks about this all the time. If you have canned foods, oh, tremendously high in acid, stay away from that. Carbonated beverages and citrus, oh, that's really bad. Caffeine will drive it crazy. Really? And of course, chocolate. And chocolate? Yeah, no. it's a trigger. I'm sorry. Don't and the wine. Up. The wine with the chocolate. Oh, yeah, and the wine with the chocolate. Oh, it's really wine. bad. So, no wonder all these people suffer from the heartburn on Valentine's Day. Oh, exactly. And see, uh, you know, really, when you start breaking things that's down, and, and, and Melvin has done this so well, he makes the complex very simple, then you know how to help yourself. So, therefore, if we know we're going to go more basic or alkaline, we got to know those foods. Okay. But one of the big things, and Melvin has talked about this a long time, breakfast can be a big pitfall. Really? And so, yeah, it's heavily acidic. So let's start our day off by suppressing the acid and get a smoothie, a smoothie okay. here. This smoothie is about 178 calories. We got bananas, which is a great food. Bananas are awesome. Ginger is in it, which is awesome. We get our protein from our yogurt here, and then we put a little water so we can get hydration. And boy, if you could start your day off with a smoothie like this, hey, this is helping you win that war against heartburn. Okay. Okay. One thing. We, yeah. we, we have this total 10 plan, the yeah. rapid weight right, loss plan. Right. We started it with a smoothie like that. In fact, we've got dozens of recipes. You can get them on DrOz.com. They're all free, no fees, no you know, me membership elements. Just take advantage of what Butch is Absolutely. saying. Absolutely. It's starting off with a lot of protein in the morning. In addition to making you feel better about life because you're not hungry all day long, like right. foraging like a rodent for food, you'll lose weight naturally and it'll do with some of these reflux issues. Absolutely. And a lot of the hunger we sense is actually hidden reflux. Yeah. It's really more withdrawal than true hunger, so you won't fit those cravings quite as much. Exactly, and, and if you need, a, you got a little sweet too, go ahead and put Manuka honey in here instead oh, of uh, brown sugar. Manuka honey has a very healing property. It's from New Zealand, and, and, and you can get that at your health food store. All right, good but now to you know. start that day off now, but you're on a roll in the right direction, okay. you gotta keep it going. Sure. So go ahead and have salad, and you can go ahead and have shrimp or, or, or baked um, uh, fish or whatever on here, but this is really good, but watch the, um, the salad dressing. Okay. Uh, salad dressing can can harbor a lot of calories and stay more with a little oil, a little vinegar, and that sort of thing. And lemon is excellent to spice that up. Okay, that makes sense. Now, we're, do you, do you find that vinegar is a problem for people with reflux? Well, you know, it's interesting. Some people say that you should have vinegar, yes. and it has the opposite effect. I didn't find any level one studies against that. So when I don't find any level one studies, and he and I are, are, are academics, yes. uh, I go ahead and say it's okay in moderation. So right. that would be my posture. Okay. But look, you're gonna have to snack and the big thing I want you to do here is eat five small meals instead right. of three big meals right. that's important and for for dinner you can go of course with uh, pasta just don't have the alfredo sauce and uh, don't have the uh, 
marinara sauce. Right. Come back with some olive oil. My wife has okay. really done that to help me because I've come down from 460 pounds to I'm still a big unit, like I said on our <laughs> show, but I'm a healthier big good unit. Good for you. Absolutely. Good for you. He's a good looking big unit. Yeah, well, thank you there. I'll take that as a compliment from you. And we go ahead and have that at night, and, and olive oil is good with lemon. That really okay. helps me out. And not eating too close before bedtime, oh, right? Three hours before bedtime, just put it down. Okay. Just put it down. Okay. But you got a snack, girl. I'm telling you, you got a snack. <laughs> this looks really good. And look, this is really good because it's popcorn, regular popcorn, oh, but we have a little Parmesan and a little dill in there. And then when I'm really like stressed a eating, oh, it's so oh, good. That's amazing. But, but like, it's, don't you eat with stress sometimes? I do. Yes. And the fight that Oz and I did yes. a show uh, uh, not too long ago about stress eating. Go to your nuts. Go to, and they okay. are great to help uh, fight what about the war salt? Is that something you got to worry about? You know about? what? You got to give up something. Okay. And you know, I give you a little salt if you're doing other things okay, right. Good. And, it, and other little tricks, if you got to have your wine, get coconut water or alkaline water as a chaser. So as you take a sip, you take a sip and you'll That's be all right. Smart. And if you break okay. the rules like I do, you know, see, I'm not as we cute as uh, Dr. Oz. He's a cute <laughs> one, but I'm trying to get that way. But what, if you eat one acid food that's bad, you need what? A moment? Two yes. alkaline. Or basic foods. Good one, so remember, okay, it's that all makes about sense. that base. I love it. Okay, you want to do the dance again, real quick? Base. I love you guys. On the road. I love you guys. All right, 820 right now. Jamie King, can you top this? Come on. <laughs> I cannot. Come on. I cannot. Let's take oh, a look, man. though.